Every great developer started exactly where you are right now, frustrated, stuck, and wondering why they're not improving. That's because they were probably making at least one of these 10 mistakes. And once you fix them, you'll become unstoppable. Let's start with the first mistake that you're making. Tutorial hell. How many tutorials have you watched this week? Be honest. One, five, ten? You watch one tutorial, then another, then another, and suddenly the day's gone and you haven't built anything real. This never-ending cycle of watching endless tutorials is called tutorial hell. It feels like you're making progress, but when you open a blank editor, your mind just goes blank. It's like watching cooking videos and expecting dinner to magically appear. The solution to this problem is just to build projects without a tutorial. Start with a project idea, then only use tutorials when you're stuck. That way, you're in control, not the video. And trust me, if you're stuck in tutorial hell, then you're probably making this next mistake too. Copy-pasting code. You hit an error, panic, and copy code from Stack Overflow or ChatGPT. Paste it in, it works. You feel great, until it breaks again and you're clueless. Why? Because you never actually understood it. If all you do is copy and paste, you're basically a messenger between Google and your editor. That's not coding, that's vibe code. The fix is, after pasting, slow down. Explain it to yourself line by line, even if it feels slow. Over time, you'll see patterns, and you won't need to copy-paste everything. That way, you'll actually understand what the code does and save time on debugging. But even if you understand the code, the next mistake can completely kill your progress if you're not careful. Giving up too early. You hit a bug and instantly think, I'm not smart enough for this. Nope, that's a lie. Coding can often feel hard. That's because your brain is learning a new way of thinking. It's supposed to be uncomfortable. You are supposed to fail. And when you learn something new from that failure, that is called progress. Every developer you admire once Googled, what does null mean? Or how to center a div. But the difference is that they didn't quit. They understand that bugs aren't failures. They're mini boss fights. Beat them and you level up. Don't quit at the first roadblock. Push through. You don't need to be a genius, you just need to be stubborn. And speaking of stubbornness, the next mistake is what happens when you try to skip the boring stuff too fast. Skipping the basics. You learn a little HTML, CSS, maybe some JavaScript, and then jump straight into React or Django because they look cool. But without the basics, frameworks will eat you alive. You'll get stuck on simple stuff like loops or arrays and blame the framework. But really, it's your weak foundation. It's like building a skyscraper on sand. Looks tall for a second, then collapses. Master the basics first. Variables, loops, functions, arrays, objects. Build small projects with them. Once your fundamentals are solid, frameworks will automatically make sense. If you feel like your fundamentals aren't solid, I actually built something to help you out. It's called HTML to Hero, a notion pack with 10 real beginner-friendly projects, a bonus link in BioSite, a progress tracker, and a dev cheat sheet to guide you when you're stuck. No frameworks, no fluff, just projects that lock in the basics and actually make you build. The link's down below if you want to check it out. And even if you master the basics, the next mistake could wipe out your progress in one click. Not using Git. If you save your code in random folders on your laptop, you are making a grave mistake. Why? Because the code saved on your laptop or computer can get corrupted or deleted. Or you can mess up the code, maybe delete a folder accidentally, and now you have no way to get it back. Just one crash or deletion can wash away months of effort. The solution to this problem is this magical tool called Git. Git is like a safety net for your code. It saves every change you make, so even if you break something, you can always go back. Plus, you can keep your code online with GitHub, which means your work is safe even if your laptop dies. In short, Git keeps your code safe, organized, and easy to fix. But maybe you're not losing code. Maybe you're spreading yourself too thin. That's the next trap. Learning too many languages. Python, JavaScript, C++, Java. You're trying to learn them all because everyone says their favorite language is the best. The result? You're confused, overwhelmed, and burned out. It's like trying to learn Spanish, French, and Japanese in the same week. You'll mix them up and quit. Just pick one language and stick to it until you can build projects. Once you've got that down, switching languages is way easier. Okay, the next mistakes won't take as long to explain. They're just as dangerous. Not debugging properly. An error pops up, you copy the whole thing into Google without even reading it. Sound familiar? But errors aren't your enemy. They're actually your best teacher. Slow down. Read the error carefully. Use console logs or print statements. 
and debug step by step. Debugging isn't wasted time. It's how you learn to think like a dev. But even if you debug perfectly, mistake number eight will stop you from ever improving. Not building projects. If you're only watching tutorials or reading docs, you're stuck in theory land. It's like watching basketball highlights and thinking you're ready for the NBA. Build stuff, even tiny projects. A calculator, a to-do app, a portfolio website. Projects force you to apply knowledge and expose your gaps. That's where real learning happens. And while you're building, you'll definitely be tempted by this next mistake. Comparing yourself to others. You see someone on Twitter saying, I built an AI app at 17, and suddenly you feel like trash. Stop. That comparison is poison. Comparison is the thief of joy. Measure progress against your past self, not some random person online. If you're better today than yesterday, you're winning. And finally, this last mistake might be the most boring, but it's also the most deadly. Not being consistent. The biggest killer is inconsistency. You code one day, then disappear for a week. That's why nothing sticks. Consistency beats intensity. Even 30 minutes a day compounds faster than coding once a week for five hours. Small steps daily equal big wins over time. Those are the 10 mistakes every beginner makes. Don't stress if you've done a few, we all have. The key is fixing them early so you actually grow. Now, if you want to see how AI can help you code smarter, check out my video on seven AI tools every developer should know. Just click it and I'll see you there.